Welcome back to another episode of the Blues Heart Biker. All right, well, I ordered some tires for the Triumph from Dinah Joe. Uh, he's supposed to have my fuel tank painted next week. So that'll be nice. That Triumph, the tires have been on it for 10 years and it's been sitting. And I'm scared to death they're, you know, one of them's going to blow out because they, they get dry rot. And they get hard from sitting. And so i'll put some new tires on it and show that bike some love then all my bikes i'll have good tires on it because i just did some tires on the sportster not too long ago and i just put new tires on this bike about a week ago yeah so playing music again it'd be cool if i could go on tour somewhere in the usa and run into some people that watch the channel you know someplace in Idaho or Iowa or Missouri Kansas or Texas because I do travel all over the place but you know the problem is again is that I don't know what's going to happen with this heart issue that I got Because I love to eat at the Waffle House. We don't have Waffle Houses in California. And when I'm in Texas, I love to eat at the Whataburger. We don't have Whataburgers in California. And when I'm in Oklahoma, I like to eat at Brahms. We don't have Brahms in California. And when it comes to that stuff, I'm like a madman when it comes to that junk food on the road. But there comes a time when you got to weigh it out. Do you want to eat a Whataburger or do you want to die? But if you guys want to know a little bit more about my music stuff, check my website, johncliftonmusic.com. It'll have everything you want to know about my music stuff where you can buy the music, where you can stream the music, where you can uh, see the band, pictures, bio, all that stuff that's usually on people's websites. Also, I got a Facebook page, and uh, you can check that out too. But I'm glad to be back with it, man. It's like, makes you feel like you're doing your thing again of course I won't have as much time to ride Harleys eventually here that was the only good thing about the pandemic because I could ride motorcycles all the all the time whenever I wanted I'm going to take this windshield off. The GoPro doesn't doesn't take too kindly to this windshield for some reason. I like having it though. It's a big windshield and it really deflects the wind well, but I don't know. Let's take it off for a while. Something different. thing about it is I see all these bugs that hit it. Some of them look pretty big. Those things would have hit me. Somebody started to build a motocross track over there. Doesn't look like they're doing too much with it lately. Once in a while you see some bikes out there, but lately I haven't seen anything going on out there. Got to get a new seat for this bike. It's all kind of wore out feels wore out it's got a couple rips in it too 
which reminds me when I get back to the shop I think I'm going to want to put a another seat on the Triumph I've got a couple other seats over there and the thing is, is if I'm going to transform it back to white and orange I got to get rid of that little cafe mini fender on the back of it that's black even though I like that seat and the way it looks I've got a couple of humpback seats and I don't want to go through all the hassle of putting that back fender back on it because I believe it's got a fender eliminator on it so I'm just gonna put one of those humpback seats on it and I got a couple pretty good ones over there one of them is a Corbin I don't know if I'm gonna put the Corbin on it or the other one but we'll see later well alright so while I'm at this here pulled into the shop and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tank off or oh, excuse me okay so I pulled in the shop here I'm gonna go ahead and pull the seat off the Triumph real fast and uh, I think I want to put this seat on it right here I think I want to put this seat on it Got this Corbin seat too, but I think this seat looks a little more vintage. So let's give it a try and see how it looks. And as you can see, this thing's only held on by two little Allen screws. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to relocate the license plate frame underneath. So this is going to have to this is going to have to be moved um, because I, it looks as if the this is going to seat attaches to these two little screws right here. So I think that's the look, huh? Looks pretty good, but. I did not attach it because I've decided not to. Uh, I got to pull the tank off when I get the uh, the new tank on. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna have to pull the tank off when I get the new tank painted after Joe's done with the new tank probably next week. So I'm not gonna affix this thing to the uh, to the bike yet. Um, but what do you think? Think it looks good? Got this one, and we got this Corbin. I think this one looks better. Corbin's probably a much better seat. They look about the same. I don't know. I think I still like the other one better. I don't know which one's gonna be more comfortable, but I think I still like like the other one better. When I was riding the other day, I lost one of my mirrors. Isn't that something? I went through a whole episode of putting these mirrors on, and one of them fell out. It looks as if this this hand, this uh, grip kind of worked its way off. And you can't turn it at all, but it worked its way down somehow. So maybe from me holding it in the vibration. So I'm going to have to get that back up on there and then uh, get another mirror, I guess. The Sportster. I got this Honda over here. And this is a project for another day. I kind of like to sell this one. Maybe. The Sportster. Sports. Oh, my Pokemon. Look at this thing. Oh, no. What did I do that? Let this thing get this bad for. 
I'm gonna have to ride this thing pretty soon. It's good. It deserves an episode. All right, that's it for today, friends. Thanks for tuning in to the Blues Heart Biker. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me that thumbs up if you uh, like the videos. Also, hit that little bell icon notification thing there. It'll let you know whenever I upload new content. And let's hear your comments often. Please comment. I like to interact with everybody and always make new friends. Don't forget, I'll be here every Tuesday and every Saturday. I try to do it every Tuesday and Saturday at 9 a.m. So keep an eye out for my next video. Also, there'll be four squares with links in them. Those are to my previous videos. Take a look at those. Check out my channel if you haven't yet. And uh, be cool. Have a good time, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks a lot. All right.